right, so you want to learn how to play guitar. This is your introductory course on how to play guitar. If you pass successfully pass this round, they'll go to level two, but you can't go any further until you master level one in your introductory guitar course. Now the first thing you're gonna to need to do if you're gonna play guitar well, you have to understand some of the fundamentals, and that's physiology, which I'll get into, and vocabulary, which I'll explain, and then there's technique, which is the third. If you master all three, physiology, vocabulary, and technique, you should be fine, and you can learn a lot faster than most people without having to go through a lot of the boring um, fundamental stuff like reading charts and all that. Get you playing first, and then later on you'll understand what you're playing, but the fun part is actually playing, so we'll focus on that first. Now you're going to have an accompanying sheet with this, with your chord chart, that's part of your vocabulary. But first thing you need to know is your physiology. There's a certain way you have to hold the instrument, place your fingers, work your pick hand, and hold the instrument itself. Before you can play properly, you have to be in the proper physical frame of mind. If you're laying on your back, your feet up, like this all lazily, you're not going to sound very good. But if you're sitting straight, not back against the chair, but sitting straight up, your back straight, and the guitar on your knee, close to you. The guitar is your friend. You want to hug it in. You want to keep it nice and close. It's your friend. Don't be shy. Don't keep him out here. He's your friend. Keep him close to you. So your arm is a little bit above him right here. Because you want to have full control over the guitar on your right hand. So make sure he's, he's close to you. You can lean over him if you want. But you and your guitar are going to be good friends. So don't be shy. Hold him close. So also, he doesn't get away. So he's not balanced, unbalanced and all over the place. And uh, then the second part is your uh, physiology. Now, you're going to be playing with a pick. So your pick is going to be in your right hand. Now, the important part is how you hold the pick. Everything you do when you play guitar, you have to be relaxed. You can't play guitar while you're tense. So every part of you has to be just loose and relaxed. There should be no tension in your body, none at all. Whenever you learn a new skill, whether you're playing guitar or you're uh, playing tennis, whatever, any skill, there's a tendency to overcompensate. You want to be relaxed at all times. You've got to be zen-like. You've got to be no tension in your arms, no tension in your back, your shoulders, nothing. Just let it all out. <sighs> nice and relaxed, because you can't play a good guitar if you're all tensed up. You want to overcompensate, just like you know, if you're learning how to do a new sport. You've got to be totally relaxed. Now, when you hold the pick on the right hand to strum the strings, I call this a shark's tooth technique to remember how to hold a pick properly. It's like a shark's tooth. The tooth is going downward. Okay? You just want to pick it up. You want to put just a little bit of pressure on there and hold. take the pick in between your index finger and your thumb. But the important part to remember, which a lot of people forget, you have to hold it so that half of the pick is covered by your thumb. You see how a little less than half of the pick is sticking out on the back of my thumb? A, a, a minimum of half of your thumb must cover the back of the pick. See there? So at least half of your thumb should be covering it so you get full control over it. If you got this going on, it's going to fall out of your hands, I guarantee it. it you're going to strum and oops, I just dropped it, or it's going to fall down in your guitar hole and you're going to be fishing it out. So always, when you pick it up, pick it up, and half your thumb covering the back of the, the pick. That's very important. And your forefinger should be just using just enough pressure. Don't sit there and squeeze the living crap out of it. That's not going to benefit you. It's going to cramp you up and impede your playing. Just gently, lightly, like a feather. It takes very little pressure to hold this little pick in your hand. Just, I mean like nothing. There should be no tension in your wrist. Very, almost no tension in your fingers. It takes almost no strength to hold this thing in your finger if you got half your thumb over the pick. That's how you properly hold the pick. And your index finger is simply just holding the pick against your thumb with the, the slightest little pressure. You'd be amazed how little strength you need to hold that in there. So don't tense up. All relaxed. I'm Kwai Chang Kane here. I'm like I'm like on Kung Fu. He did everything Zen-like. 
and relaxed. This is how you do everything playing guitar. All right. Now, hold on, hold that thought while you're holding your pick, and you're going to hold the guitar up close to you. Again, relax, no tension in your arms, shoulders, or knees. Keep your back nice and straight. Now, when you on your strumming hand, when you strum, you just want to go straight downward, but you don't want to dig into the strings. All you want is the the pick to gently glide across the strings on a 45 degree angle. If you can see that, you just glide across on a 45 degree angle. And also when you come up, it's, it's the other way on a 45 degree angle. So you're rolling your wrist. See how my wrist is rolling? It's rolling back and forth. So down and up. Down, up, down, up. Now again, you're using extremely little pressure to do this. All you got to do to strum properly is like you're wiping dust off the surface of the strings. Like your pick is like a dust cloth and your strings have dust on them. Just wipe the dust off. That's how light. No strength at all. And I'm just going a, a nice angle up, down, down, up, down, up. No strength. Relaxed. Very little strength holding the pick. Half my thumb is over top of that pick. See how nice that sounds? If I use too much strength, it's a little harsh. Now hear it when I do it nice and light with no strength. Nice and pleasant. All right? So that's your right hand technique. And all the movement is in your elbow here. It's not in your shoulder. If you're cramped, if you're tense and all this, your shoulders are going to start cramping up and you're, eh, your neck, and eh, you're not going to feel good. If you're all relaxed, you're like a dead weight, your arm is going to go up and down, and you're going to feel no tension at all, and you're going to have nice sounding chords. Now, on the left hand technique, your chord technique, now the same principle applies on your uh, left hand. Your right hand is just for the strumming side with your pick. Now the left hand is nothing more than the same thing. Now when, you, when you're holding down strings, you're gonna want to. You always want to place your finger directly in between the two frets. You don't want to put your finger directly on a fret because the note won't sound correctly. You don't want to put it too far behind. The note will buzz. You always want your finger on any given note to be exactly in the middle of the two frets, dead smack in the middle. Wherever you're at on the neck, you want it dead smack in between the two frets. Never on top of a fret or real far behind a fret or right next to it. Dead smack in the middle. That's where you get a nice clean sounding note. Wherever. But as long as you're dead smack in between the two frets, you're good. And there's also open notes where you don't touch the string. Alright. And um, before you play guitar, you use your tuner. You buy this in a music store, 15, 20 bucks. A guitar is not very good unless it's not in tune. This makes life extremely easy. Go out, spend 20 bucks, get yourself a Korg tuner, and every single music store sells one. Learn how to tune your guitar up. I don't need to teach you how to do that. You can learn how to do this yourself. But never play a guitar until you tune it up first, because no matter what you play, it's going to sound nasty unless you're tuned up. So, that's it. Now, what? Now, uh, when you when you're playing on your left hand, we're still in the physiology part of your training here. Physiology, again, everything is relaxed. No tension. Now, you're pressing in between the two frets, and now you're also pressing against this part of your thumb on your left hand, that little bony part right there. Imagine the guitar is not even there. You're pressing on that. That's kind of how your fingers are working. but. You're going to place your guitar, your, your other hand behind the guitar, and just gently against the back of the neck is going to.